Hi Stephen, so this is just the video on how to access your website and how to make some simple text changes. We'll also cover how to delete images from your gallery and also how to change the order as well. So first of all, I've sent you an email and on the email is a link and a username and a password. If you click on the link, pop in your username and password and then just click sign me in. That will then bring you to this screen here. You can ignore any messages on the right hand side about payments due. There are no payments due at all. I'm not quite sure why that appears there. Uh, but over on the left hand side, you just click where it says websites. Once you do that, eventually there'll be a little thumbnail preview of your website the minute it's blank. But down here, you'll just see edit website. And if you just click on that, basically that will then load up Bramble, which is the system that I've used to build your website. Um, if you've got a fast broadband connection, that will load fairly quickly. Um, and if you're on a slower connection, it can take sort of 30 to 60 seconds for that to load up. Once it loads, it will load up your homepage. Um, you will see some strange symbols. Um, you can completely ignore those. They're just different elements that are turned on for phones and for tablets. So just ignore those. And you scroll down to each section. Everything you click will then highlight with a green box you're then able to access and edit the wording, make changes to those areas by clicking the different sections as you see fit. A couple of things to mention here. One is don't change the fonts and the font sizes too much. They've been optimized for tablets, for phones and for computers. So if you make fonts larger or smaller, people on those devices might have some problems. So just stick to making simple text changes, adding commas, um, obviously you can delete bits from here on the home page. Um, and that's fairly straightforward to access that. There's not too much on the home page. It's literally just that amount of text and then that image. For now, any images like we discussed, because I run them through Photoshop and give them a little bit of an enhancement and the sizing, um, you're best to let me deal with images for you. And you can obviously look at that later on if you feel more confident. But for now, if you want to replace any images, let me look after that for you um, and just make text changes. A couple of things to mention here, if you, make some changes and then you didn't mean to make them. You, at the top here you have an undo button, which will put it back to how it was. Also, if you're not sure what you've done at all and you make an error, um, as long as you don't click the green publish button at the top, you won't do any damage to your website. So basically, if I accidentally delete the whole thing um, and I didn't mean to do that, as long as I don't publish the changes at the top, I can basically just leave, exit, and because I didn't publish the changes, I've basically done no damage. So when I go back into the website, things are as they were. So that's just a good tip. If you want to have a look around, you can look around, you can play about with things, and you always know that if you don't publish the changes, the site's safe and you've done no damage. So that covers the home page. If you then click at the top here where it says index, you'll see the other pages on your website will appear. So for example, if you go to the practice page, um, again, ignore the fact there's strange symbols, ignore the fact that these images are repeated. That's just for, again, it's the tablets and the phone version. So just scroll past those. Coming down to this section here, you could then go in much like a Word file and obviously make any changes you see fit, delete words, add words. If you add more content, obviously the box will just keep expanding. Um, so you're able to go in and, and edit that as you see fit. When you're happy with the editing that you've made, at the top you'd then publish the changes and then in about sort of a minute, they'll be live on the website. You may need to go onto the website and refresh the page to see the updates that you've made, um, like we did in the proofing stage. So again, we have the undo button if we didn't mean to make that change. And if I've made alterations here that I don't want to save, I can just exit and leave. So the final thing to look at then is the portfolio. Um, so we'll have a quick look at that, how to remove any images from that that we don't want anymore. Um, and how to also change the order. So if you go to portfolio, obviously there's a lot of images in there at the moment, which is fine. I think it's a good idea to show lots of um, work. So I think that's good that they're there. Um, but basically if you decided, for example, that you didn't want a, a particular image, so let's just say this one. If you click the image, you'll see the green box appears around it. And if you highlight over it, it will tell you what it's about to do. So you would then click the trash can, that would remove that photo. Obviously that then changes the order of everything, so you'd have to then go through the, the rest and just check everything. Um, and again, if you then didn't mean to do that, you can undo. Um, and if you make lots of changes you didn't mean to make, again, you just exit without publishing. 
straightforward, anything you want to just delete, you click and then you click that remove icon that takes that out of the gallery and then it's gone. Um, so changing the order is quite simple. There's sometimes it gets stuck and you have to drag an image the different way than you thought. But as an example, if you wanted to pick this image up and bring it further to the top, you've got the move icon. You can see the arrow selected. So you just pick it up and drag it. So drag it to the middle. You can then scroll up, drag it further up. You can drag it further up. Position it wherever it is that you want to. Sometimes they get stuck and you have to go the other way. So it will not let you move it up and you have to move the other images around it behind it. It happens occasionally, I don't really know why. But if you can't move it up for any reason, just take the ones behind it and move them across and change the order that way. Just um, that'll make more sense if you watch that back. But we're basically putting that image further down by shuffling everything around. So yeah, you can shuffle images around, you can swap the order, you can change them as you see fit, you can remove any that you don't want, you can go through and do that for all of these images. When you're happy with what you've done, you would then publish the changes at the top and, and that would save that. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Hopefully that covers a few things. The first thing being, you can get in now and make simple text changes. The second thing being, you can look after the portfolio section. And then finally, if you're worried about what you're doing, you've got the undo button and you can always exit and leave without publishing and you know the site is safe. So if you need anything else from me, just let me know and thanks for watching.